Hello everyone, this is the Fire Me, and in this video, I will be showing you how I built my Tier 2 Rebel. Now, before we begin the video, I would like to make some announcements. Um, my semester of college is over, so I'm back! I'm going to try to at least, because I got a stockpile of games to just play through and just enjoy. Um, I'm going to try and get back into making videos, maybe. They're gonna be my standard stuff of gameplay, which is like not much really. It's like watch it if you want, don't if you don't. Um, uh, if I remember right, I have nearly 200 gigabytes worth of video footage that I have piled up since like the beginning of September that I have not touched at all because I know I would be busy with school. Um, so I'm gonna get back to that. Um, this narration is going to be in post, as you can probably tell, because, yeah, it's going to be pretty fast, because I fast-forwarded a lot, because I can't speak and build and fight at all at once. Well, not all at once, but, like, do it and speak at the same time. Um, also, in this video, this Tier 2 bot, I loved the frame so much in Tier 2 that I kept it, and transitioned it into tier 9 so I'll be showing near the end of the video a tier 9 variant of this uh, rebel well a modified rebel because I'm essentially as you could probably just saw um, uh, copying it but making it quote quote better and different um, so where do we begin uh, where, where, where do we actually begin I'm looking at my notes <laughs> Uh, a, lot, a, lot, a lot to say, a lot to say about this bot. Um, as I said, I love this bot. I loved it so much that I transitioned into tier 9. The armor... The armor frame of this bot is... is It surprised me in tier 2 that it's able to take so much punishment because there's just so much blocks... There's just so many blocks connecting to one another that before it can be, like... I... Th I think I can take on two to maybe three people and not so much kill them but disable their movement or guns before I go down. Granted, by the time I go down, it's like um, I already have teammates coming up behind me trying to sweep up the mess. <laughs> like, yeah, I died so you guys can do that. But, but uh, no one ever seems to notice. Um, Mostly because of how of just how many blocks there are connecting to one another. Um, now, I tried different movement blocks with this frame. Uh, with the tier three treads, the the this frame it moves forward and back very well. Like it's 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 reasonably well. You can get to point B to point. B. You get from point A to point B very in a timely manner. Not the fastest, but like you, you'll get there. You can keep up. Um, but with the treads, I guess maybe because of how I positioned them on the spot, and also as a side note, well, I'll, I'll I'll say it later after you get through the movement blocks. Um, turning the spot because of how I had positioned the treads on this frame was very slow. Like painfully slow I have yet to really understand treads like how what's an optimal positioning so far I've seen bots where there's two two in the back and two like spread out ahead so it's four treads two ahead and two more narrower closer to the core in the back um, that seems like a pretty good design I've tried it out the turning is reasonable but still not to what to what I'm used to with wheels. Um, next is hovers. Um, hovers. Uh, how 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 to not sound like I just hate hovers? Because I don't hate hovers. I actually love hovers. But with this frame, it it just seems it's bollocks. Um. I can get the tier the 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 hub the in tier the, like the tier two frame that's being displayed um, to move around to move around reasonably well as like the same with the with the treads 
the same speed as this treads, but maybe in a bit faster. However, it can be easily tipped over by the terrain. Like a little bump could set. Can like, I remember? I I remember um in a practice match because I wasn't going to do this in a live. I wasn't really sure of how it would work with in a live demonstration. But in a practice match, I hit I hit a a decline in the terrain and that decline caused my hovers to like just just flip the entire bot over like this bot is with hovers is very sensitive to the terrain and because of how because of all the armor is it's the bot is built down up rather than top down how I usually do it and I find comfortable using hovers with that having it flipped over exposes the underside of it so much that it's you might as well just quit the match just trying to f trying to flip yourself over with this bot without the help of a flipper or the help of terrain like a, a sloped terrain to do a back flip off of it, it, you, you're, you're gonna be at a disadvantage you'll be easily destroyed if someone hits the right spot on your where your core is positioned um uh, because of how fragile hovers are and how I positioned them, I had po I had positioned them. Well, 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 let me let me put up the notice here right now. I had footage of of uh, treads, and I uh, had footage of treads, but that footage was um uh how it wouldn't it wouldn't open. I guess it wouldn't open in Windows in. Uh, Windows Movie Maker, which is what I use to edit footage mainly, and it 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 it, it, it the, the tread footage didn't want to load, and I'm just like fuck, so this is useless to me. Um, with with hovers, the the original video was gonna be just it can most of the time of that video was mostly the hovers, just me trying to figure out where these hovers would be positioned in a in a good in a good in in a good place that doesn't cause the bot to flip over to terrain or by the or by me just randomly jerking the bot around and because I also had boosters so flipping forward as well and i found that nearly 2 to 3 hours were dedicated to just me figuring out how the fuck to position the hovers and just with no with no with with no like um Brains, my freaking brain's dying over here. Um, with no good positioning, it, it, I had, I came to nothing. So I'm just like, you know, this, this video is pointless. So, yeah, it, it came down to this video, where it's mainly just going to be me showing the wheels, which, to be in all honesty, I love the wheels. I just love them. They're, they're, they're what I, I, I have, they have what I like. What I like, what I need on the battlefield, and what, and their disadvantages are negligible, neglig, bleh. they're ignorable, because of how many I can put on one bot. Um, in this video right now, I'm getting, I'm positioning the weapons, and I'll still be putting the wheels. Um, I mainly use tier one, tier one steering wheels, and only steering wheels, because was the funny point of having normal drive wheels. Um, Tier one steering wheels. Reason for it: they're smaller and cost less CPU. That's how I put it through my head. They're smaller and cost less CPU, and because of this, um, I can just spam the wheels all over my bot, having giving it so much redundancy in its movement that I am still able to move. As I think I said before in a previous video, I think it was during my Walker. No, I don't think it was during not not during my Walker video, but yeah, right here I'm. I'm positioning and placing the wheels um that have so much redundancy in the wheels that by the top by as my bot is getting blown up i know that even though i lose one side of my bot or the upper half or the lower half or whatever half of my bot part of my bot is just gone um i'm still able to move which is critical if you can move and fight you can, if you have, if you can move and still have your guns you can fight 
and like just even though even though you may only have one or two guns you're still weaponized as I call it you're still weaponized you can still fight and you can still move the moment you become deep weaponized is when you're unable to move because you're just sitting there as a turret essentially or you have no guns but you have mobility granted if you have mobility the first if you have mobility and you don't have guns in my opinion you should be heading for straight for the enemy point to just sit on oh um, well, yeah as you see I'm I'm doing a bit of practice rounds trying to get the feel of this bot and I'm at, and and surprisingly I actually enjoyed the feel of the wheels compared to the treads and hovers. I don't know why but wheels wheels just speak to me. I and I love them. Uh the thrusters on the back give it a nice forward boost considering that the tier 1 steering wheels have a very low 0 to 3 second speed up like they they take they take a while to to get rolling because of how much weight is on these as on these wheels granted as i think i've confirmed in the details on my tier tier 7 on my smg walker video um, i've confirmed that the weight is spread out amongst their movement blocks so it's it my wheels are actually able to still keep moving cuz most of the weight cuz the weight is being divided by nearly 12 14 wheels <laughs> So yeah. Um, if there is one thing I did not like overall when I was playing this bot in practice, and actually had a couple of match like live matches that I could that I can't really show, uh, that like as I said before, because the footage just didn't want to load with the treads and the hovers were just going to be pointless. Um, if there's one thing I didn't like is how exposed as and if you, you probably saw here in in the practice match, is how exposed my wheels are to enemy fire granted with oh here I'm gonna be entering a life battle um, uh, what was I saying? holy shit <laughs> um, overall I didn't like how exposed my movement my movement blocks were to enemy fire granted with wheels I have a lot of redundancy so as I said I'm able to keep going even though I may lose parts of my bot with hovers you can lose um, any part, as I said, the weight is distributed between your movement blocks. So if any part of you is shot off, but you still have your hovers, the hovers are going to start compensating for what part of you has been shot off and the weight being shifted around constantly because you're taking fire. The treads, the treads overall, no problems with the weight. It's like those things were built for like, for like big, super monster robots that are heavy as hell. Um... Weapons wise, you'll probably see in this live demonstration coming up that I'm kind of cheesing tier 2 because <laughs> I didn't really feel like actually slapping on gajillion tier 2 weapons on this thing. But surprisingly, I'm able to fit f two, four, six, six tier 3 SMGs and just annihilate this dude here in CQC, no problem. Granted, his bot was a bit. I call them twigs. Those twig bots are just. Horrible. I, I, granted, it's tier two, but I still see them in tier nine because I'm in tier nine now. I still see twig bots, and I'm just like, really, guys, you can't reinforce. You can't make them bigger. Um, here is sadly where I kind of make the mistake of taking two people. Granted, I take him down before I get everything part of me shot off, but it takes three people together to break bring me down, which is. Which is surprising when I was in this practice demo, like practice live demonstration. As you can probably see, it's just people getting left, right, own left, right, and center. Um. Ah, crap. Yeah, weapons. Um. The the SMGs and you see with this frame are actually perform very well. Um, burst firing them. As I don't think in these in in this portion of the video, I don't think it'll uh, I don't think it'll show me burst firing, um, as I've I've uh, as I've been doing so much more recently and become very um <coughs> yeah, excuse excuse me um good at I guess this is is what I'm trying to say here. It's like I've 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 become good with burst firing my shots instead of going full auto. Um, plasma, plasma with this frame, 
is good at long distances, essentially with this frame if you're going to roll it around in tier 2. One moment. And I'm back. Sorry about that. I had someone invade my room. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, plasmas. Um, uh, my, I've with put how I tried plasmas. This frame in tier 2 can't really frontline battle with plasmas. Granted, you can line this thing with tier 2 plasmas and just, just, it, it's what I call the shotgun tactic with plasmas, is just run up to someone and just blast them with plasmas to the face. Um, which is a good tactic, and I might actually take it up, because I'm, I'm not so much far away, but I'm close enough to where I can just rush them and just blast someone's face with plasma and then back away. Um, but with plasmas, I've noticed that this thing, as an artillery unit, can take can take quite a bit of punishment as it's shelling an area. And say it, it works. I'm the surprise. Um, I don't use. I don't. <laughs> oh, jeez, snipers. Is that so much that I'm bad with snipers? It's just I don't like how you need so much space. How how you need so much space to just fit. Six to fit the minimum, which is six, and even then, I I don't like them personally because I know I suck with them. So mostly efficiency of space and uh, just raw skill with the freaking snipers. I just I just don't like them, and I know I, I will suck with them. But whoever can roll snipers right now is like all props to you. Just jeez, I can't do it. Um. I don't have any healing, um, healing, healing, um, healing, nano healing, whatever the hell it is, healing guns, um, uh, but I've, I have a tier 7, tier 7, tier 8, um, it, it's, it's the one in the shop, the, the, the scarab, the one that can fly and walk and heal, um, but I essentially, I didn't so much buy it, but I built it, I built it on my own with my, with my own blocks. And holy crap, that thing is awesome! But if I and I've taken, I've taken those healing turrets and put them on this frame and did a few practice runs with them, because I can't really take this bot with with the with the low. I forgot what the low tier ones were, like tier f five healing turrets, whichever one the low tier um, healing turrets are. I can't take that bot into a match. I can't take this bot into that match because this bot would just get just get destroyed by whatever gets by whatever um smg plasma sniper or whatever tier it gets put in against that's substantially higher than this um and i think that's not about it really about with my opinions um as a sort of i, I guess i can come to the conclusion now with this or just a wrap-up summary um this bot's very tanky. Yeah, this bot's very tanky. Highly mobile with enough with e it's highly mobile even with just tier one, like twelve to fourteen tier one steering wheels. Highly tanky, highly mobile. It's spacious to where in near the end of this video you'll see that I have this same frame with I think four, maybe seven tier ten guns on it. And, and and it's just, it's spacious. I still have enough room to like move the guns forward and maybe fit another row of guns behind the first two rows. And and yeah, it's spacious. But I'm I'm kind of losing um uh my train of thought here because I I'm sort of just watching the battle and keeping an ear out for someone. Um. Tanky, speedy, can fit a lot of guns on it. Um, with how I'm planning to take this frame into the future, it might become even more tanky. Because uh, I want to, um, I want to fit shields onto this onto this frame. Which in my tier nine, I currently have shields, but not in a proper. Hang on. 
And I'm back again. Uh, this is why I'm keeping it here and I'm, I'm being interrupted constantly. Uh, where was I? Oh, yes. Uh, tier, tier 9 shielding. Yes, well, not tier 9 specifically, but just shielding in general. Um, with how I'm going to take this bot, with how I'm planning to take this bot into the future, into the future of Robocraft and into the future battles, maybe into tier 10 possibly, after I get enough points to um, swap the blocks around for tier 10 blocks, um, I want to put shields. But right now, with the current frame, it's it's too small. Um, the spacing of the guns on the tail is 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 co it's too close for my comfort. As in, um, they're close enough to where one tier nine plasma shot can nearly destroy my tail. And that tail, as you can probably see with the thrusters in them, is very fragile because it's only one layer. One layer at the top, two layers at the bottom, and it can just, they can get destroyed pretty easily. Even with all the blocks connected to it to absorb some of the damage. Um, oh yeah, this match, uh, this, this is the one where my entire team just dies, but you know, I'm the one that's still freaking alive. Uh, train of thought. Uh, train of thought. Shields, yeah. Shields, so, shielding is where I'm going to take this bot to where it will become bigger better and I have more guns on this damn thing um, right now most of my CPU on my current tier 9 bot is being taken up by wheels is by to my by the tier 1 uh, steering wheels uh, I already have the guns so I already said the firepower of this thing of this bot of this frame the movement how tanky it can be especially with freaking shields these things this is freaking awesome with shields I love it um, I think that's all I have to say, really. Um, uh, or else I'll just keep repeating myself with with how much praise I'm currently loving the f the the f rebel frame. I didn't really think of much of this frame when I saw it on the shop. I just saw it as like a um, a, a, since it was a hover, since on the shop it's a hover, I didn't really have confidence in dumping you know ten dollars. I think it's ten dollars, maybe fifteen or so, or just a little bit more, into this bot, into that bot which has hovers, and I've tried recreating with hovers. It it did not earn my my vote of confidence. So I've just I essentially rebuilt it again, but with wheels, which earns my vote of confidence without hovers. This is just I love this thing without hovers. Um. So and yeah. SMG. End time. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you for sticking with with me and listening to my opinions, even though we may cause some people to rage or just bitch me out and say, oh, you don't know anything. Re really, I kind of don't know anything. I still don't know how to Triforce a bot. I'm still trying to learn how to Triforce a bot. I still don't get the concept of Triforcing, but I know it's a thing and I'm trying to learn it, but it's, just, it's a pain to learn. Um, oh, yeah. Thank you for watching my video. Um, leave a comment on your, th your, your own thoughts and opinions just, it's like I, I, I kind of do watch, watch the comments of some of my videos granted uh, it's the ah uh, there, there, there was a rule like 90% are lurkers 9% are participators and the 1% are like something else like it's the 9991 rule 991 rule Luria, um why am I rambling? <laughs> Thank you for watching my video!
do you remember when I said I would stop rambling on on this video? I lied. Uh, here is my baby, my bread and butter of this game. She's got 16 wheels, 4, 5, 6, 7 guns, 4 thrusters, 2 tier 8 shields, 1 jammer, 1 radar, and a whole bunch of tier 8 blocks for her frame. Dude, this thing, I love this rebel frame. I love this bot. Now let's get to see her in some action. Alright, my friends. We get to see the tier 9 rebel in action that I've been so subtly hinting at. Ah, <sighs> boy. This match. This match, it took me a while because the queue times were Forked. Like I was waiting for an hour or two just trying to get into a queue, then I got into this one. Trying to get into a game, I got this one. Now, I'm not really sure what my team was doing, nor do I know why there's a tier fucking 5 on our team. I don't know. Free Jam, what the hell's your issue? I love that tank that's passing by me on my left. I just, I, I like that design. But yeah, this is what the hell is a tier 5 doing here? Anyways, my, I have no idea what my team is doing. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just, like, just, just roaming there, like, uh, where my, where's my team going? Where are we going? Uh, they don't look like they're going anywhere. Except for those three. Apparently those three just want to just blast, ram, and shove that poor tier 5. And I'm just like, oh, that tier 5, why are you doing, what are you doing here? You're, you're gonna, you're, you're just a free kill, damn it! Ah! Uh, Back. Um. Again, not much happens in the very beginning because uh, where's my team going? I don't know. I don't feel like soloing a fucking three members of the enemy team out there. Hell no. I'm just, just, just staying here. When, yeah. So I kind of, I kind of assumed we were all going this way, and apparently we were because someone had targeted something, and this dude just slams his rear treads onto me. I'm just like, you motherfucker. Granted, they kind of, it feels like they fixed the issues with treads and wheels. But it sure doesn't feel like it sometimes. Um, again, nothing much still going on. It's just me trying to figure out what the hell's going on. Someone just quits because fuck it. Um, I hit my mic by mistake. Whoops. <laughs> Sorry to your ears. Um, then it kind of, now it gets kind of interesting where I bought an enemy tank over there but I don't decide to go face first at him because I because I know that the healer's over here and there's a healer yeah it's a healer just flying by there so I'm taking pot shots I'm taking pot shots at that dude on that hill notice how I just don't give a shit My, it's like oh yeah a few hits 93% but okay and at the same time, there's healers behind me, so it's like, ah, I'm just gonna stick back here and get healed and just be supremely tanky. I'm just throwing covering fire on that end, because there's a dude over there just taking pot shots at our flank. This dude just decides to sit on me for no fucking reason. It's like, get off. Uh, there's a dude up on that cliff over there who's just also taking pot shots. This dude nearly flips me the fuck over. I was just, oh, if he had successfully flipped me, Oh, I would have raged so hard, but he didn't, so I'm happy. Still taking burst fire pot shots. I'd say this match is like the like my practice of just all of my practice and actually doing burst fire with SMGs put together into this combat, into this battle. Um, this dude just gets a full front of a full auto for me. I bore straight through his middle because say he's treads so just bore through the middle or hit his treads the fucking tier 5 is blocking my reverse motion why do you stop my reverse motion um there's another there's few other i think that there's one or two other dudes on that cliff over there i only see one at the moment there's two on the left cliff i'm getting shelled repeatedly by plasmas but hey my boss is like yo bro you got more for me um and the healer's like, yo, dude, three points. Uh, I'm surprised, and, and this match surprised me, because mostly, but mostly due to the fact that most, nearly all my hits are hitting. Not all my hits, but all my shots are hitting. And the tier 5 just flips himself over. Just fuck it. Good luck to you, buddy.
I'm taking pot shots at him. There's a plaz. There's already a crippled plasma. Not entirely de-weaponized, but just crippled. Um, that plasma over there. Just I noticed that he's firing five shots at me of his plasma. So I'm just like, you know what? Let's let's let's, let's reduce your fucking weaponry right here, right now, and then take him down to, I think, 44 percent or 37, 40, 37 to 44 percent, and he backs off. Then we have their front line right there, and I'm I'm the only one making a line to protect the people behind me. Granted, most of the fire is going over me, as you can tell. It's so Star Wars. This is like the cameras looking up and just just, just the laser shots going left, right, and Oh, uh, I'm still taking hits, not giving a shit. I notice that I'm blocking someone, but I just I'm like I don't give a fuck. You're a treader. You're supposed to be on the front line with me, not backing up. Granted, he. I notice his HP is on this. Oh, okay, you're 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 dying, bro. You're dead. All right, I'll I'll show mercy and not just splooge, not splooge, and we just lay it into you with criticism. Um, we got We have a friend. I have a friendly plasma just raining hell down onto them, which is making me very happy. And I'm trying to. The terrain is not in my favor, so most of my shots are hitting the ground, but I'm able to poke poke at them bit by bit and I think I killed one of them. The dude on the cliff is still being an annoying bastard with his three plasma three after plasmas. I know it's the healer, so I'm shooting immediately going for him, nearly going full auto. Uh, this plasma tank is nearly back to being weaponized, so I'm just like, fuck you all and one hundred from one hundred from one hundred to ninety and it's like I'm still going. That plasma tank I killed successfully there's, I think it's a walker that's all along the wall there. Most of my team is still alive. I'm surprised, really. I take down the healer. There's another dude on that ridge that I poke pot shots at. Really, that that whole combat there was actually pretty good, and I loved that. I love that feeling where there's just a good solid line that's going back and forth. Like who's who's going to get the edge? Then there's this walker here who's just blocking my forward motion. It's like you douchebag. You're supposed to be on the walls and hills, not in my fucking way. I swear, some people think walker legs are meant for front lining. They're not meant for front lining. Fucking do nincompoops. Get it right. Get it fucking right. At least this dude's somewhat getting it right. He like flies over me and crawls up. And crawls up the wall. Where you free to go? And that ends the match. Overall, I'd say that was a that match was the best Robocraft match I've had in Tier Nine, and I wish there was more of it because I love that that scenario you're put in, where it's just a line that's been formed now and that. it's just going back and Boy, forth on who back. will win. Anyways, officially, right here, right now. Thank you for watching. Leave opinions in the comments section. See you next time.